hi the question we have we have a question on the board now that we want to look at and the question says baking powder and hydrochloric acid reacts according to the following equation the question we have there so the uh, bec a baking powder plus hydrochloric acid to give us sodium chloride water and carbon 4 and the question is calculate the mass of baking powder that will produce 10 grams of carbon 4 so in this case the question said that we should calculate the mass of sodium chloride that will sodium baking powder that is sodium hydrogen carbonate so in this case we look at looking at it the first thing if you look at the question very well if you look at the question very well find out that the ratio of the uh, um of their combination the ratio of their combination we have uh, no sodium chloride water and carbon four so carbon four then we want to find out if you look at this very well find out that the the ratio is one is to one one is to one that means one mole of this will produce one mole of carbon four and then um, the question said that we should calculate this so based on this chemical equation like what we did the other time we were made to understand how we can use and uh, how we'll be able to you know calculate or find out what we have in the uh, products or the reactant side based on the ratio of their reaction so in this case now we'll look at the final the, the the ratio of this reaction here the ratio we have one is to one so in this case looking at this that thing simply means that if we have um to produce 44 grams of carbon four of carbon four but four grams of carbon four is as good as in a uh, the molar mass do you understand the molar mass of uh, carbon four and for four grams of carbon four we give us we need 84 grams of sodium hydrogen triosocarbonate Are we together in this case that means for four grams of this carbon four will require and um, 20 84 grams of sodium triazole carbonate so in that case now if we have 10 grams 10 grams of carbon four to produce 10 gram of 10 grams of carbon four what we need here should be 84 over 44 times 10 over 1 that will be um, 19.01 grams of sodium hydrogen triazo carbonate 4 or baking powder so that is what we need now looking at this what we have succeeded in doing here is using chemical equation in calculating the mass of the substance required because we are dealing with this we're looking at this based on uh, uh, the mass in some cases we might also have opportunity of seeing that we might see equation that we'll be talking about in more in volume sorry we talk about volumes that is within in the case of volumes we can look at this based on the um what we call the molar volume the molar volume if let's say we are talking about the molar volume perhaps perhaps we have a uh, we are to calculate now remember we have from our last previous calculation we found out that 19 19.09 grams 
of baking powder. Baking powder produced was um, 10 grams of what? Carbon, carbon 4. So perhaps, let's say that we are giving this gram and that's also what we are going to volume of carbon 4 that we are going to produce. If we are asked to calculate the volume of carbon 4 that we are going to produce. Now the same thing, we can also go the same way. We know that one mole of this will give us one mole of that. Do you, do you understand? In that case now, if it's one mole of this, I will know that one mole is also um, one mole is also equal to the molar mass. One mole is uh, uh, every substance is also equal to the molar mass. So in that case, um, in that case, this one we have our molar mass to be eighty four gram per mole for the molar mass of sodium or baking powder. Let me use that word according to interesting here. We have it as baking baking soda. Baking soda or baking powder the case may be. Now from here it means that the next one we have here now we're talking about volume um, volume we have what we call the molar the molar volume of all gases which is uh, 22.4 gmq the 2.4 gmq can also be um, 22 we can say it's 22.4 gmq or or 22400 cmq any of them so for now, um, we can just decide to use 22400 cmq in this matter. So in this case, let's say we are we want to find out what volume of carbon four that will be produced by 19 19.09 um, 09 gram of baking soda. So now this 84 of baking powder that is sodium hydrogen trioxide carbon and four will produce um, 22.2400 cmq now we are, we are taking it in cmq rather than the dmq 22.400 cmq of what carbon carbon four so you now, what are we going to get if we have 19.09 grams of the baking powder? For the baking powder, so to do that, we can also get it this way. 22,400 divided by 84 times... 19 0 9 over 1 that will give us approximately um, 5 0 9 0 0.7 cmq of what Carbon four. That's the volume now. Now you will find out that we have used this question to help you, um, you kind of use it uh, to calculate the volume of this equivalent. What we have here in grams can also be uh, considered to be this in a uh, volume. So sometimes you might have opportunity of seeing a question like that. So when you see something like that, you just remember that one mole of molar mass of molar volume of every gas. At STP is always uh, 22.4 dm cube. So we will just use that now with molar volume to calculate from here. We're able to get it to be this. All right, thank you so much for thank you so much for watching.